Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, Learning Revit, it's going to be all about Windows. Windows is really important because it's going to give you a better view and understanding of the project and how you are working in the Revit environment. We're going to go through the different type of window, how you can remove them, how you can add them, how you can align all of them next to each other. Let's look at it. It's going to help you guys a lot and it's going to give you a better understanding of your project. In today's video, we want to take a look at this drawing area and also the windows panel. The windows panels is under view and it's basically at the end. I want to go through all of these items and let you guys know what you have at your disposal when you are working in Revit. These are really great tools and it's going to help you uh, maneuver and navigate your modeling and drawing faster. So this is our drawing area as you all know and if I want to open a few more windows so you can basically see I'm clicking on these levels uh, that I have on my drawings and I am opening different views. So each view is specific right and i gonna go kind of through all of this if i want to make changes let me do some elevations as well um so if i want to go down to the elevation let's do north and then also let's do south okay so these are these are I have one two three four five six seven windows open my current one is this one that I see and all of these views are basically behind this current view so Revit is gonna give you the opportunity to arrange all of these view and basically show you if you want to work in one you'll be able to see that difference between the other ones so if i go under view all the way here for the windows the first one is switch window so if you have a bunch of views and the models open and sometimes it's going to be a lot more uh, then you will not be able to see the rest of the models over here. Let me keep opening some more so everything's going to get opened up. Reflected ceiling plan. So, so you can see basically it's just adding here and I'm not I don't have access to the original one that I have like if I want to go and see level one floor plan I don't see it here so the first one that it helps us it basically give us the all the open views that you have so if I want to let's say go back and click on three it basically show me the three if I want to go back do um, any other area that I want 104 it's gonna open it back up so so, uh, it's basically is going to give you a list of the windows that you have that you can work on uh, the next one which is I want here I want to look at it uh, it's a tile so the tile window or the shortcut WT it basically put everything in a tile and organize it for you right so you can kind of see if you want to make any changes you'll be able to see that change in any of those and then as you guys know you can remove this and put it on a second screen so you have more real estate to work with your windows and right now when I have in like a tile mode it's if I add another one so if I open let's say another elevation so it's already I added to this one you see like I just added another one because this one was my current window and if I hit tile right now rearrange everything you can see it's gonna adding one more to it so let me show you what I'm talking about so I'm selecting this as my current view so how do I know it's basically a 104 is current view I click on it I select that one so I want to open another window so when i open it you see this basically adding these uh, section view to this one because i 
selected this and right now if I want to rearrange this and do a tile I just double click on it and rearrange it basically add it over here for me to see and this is going to be the list of items that you can do it so sometimes you just kind of go like this it's going to be a bunch of views you only let's say I only need uh, this south view so when you have like a bunch of them you can kind of uh, rearrange them again the other way that you want you can click on here on the tab so if you go to the tab it basically goes back to the tab view on top so you can close one by uh, see one by one and go from one to another to do it and if you notice we have a close and active windows so this is only works or only turned out when you are in tab view so if I go to the tile view it doesn't close it up and the reason is the what these close and active window does is it's only leave your current view and delete everything like remove all the other views for you but when you are in the tile view Revit assumes that you are using all of these views at the same time so this is inactive uh, if I want to go to the tab because this is my main current view and I want to look at it it basically just turns on so if I click on that one it basically you can see like all the tabs are gone and I only have this view that I'm working in. so these are a really really good like a shortcut and kind of arrangement of help tool that you guys will be able to work in this uh, let me open one more I'm just gonna go back to the tile view let me just go 3d let's say do 3d so I have these 3D view and I want to go to a tile. So there is like some view specific controls at the bottom and you guys can see like these are specific to this uh, view. So I won't be able to, this is not if I make any changes. Let's say if I want to go over here and do, uh, let me just change this to 140. So it's not going to change this one right so this is only specific to these views so just pay attention this whole uh, view that you're working on uh, if each one has a different scale that's for that view not for the whole project so this is very important all of these items that you can see at the bottom that we're gonna go through it in future videos these are gonna be specific to the view that you had open so and then the good thing is like if I select anything in any of these areas uh, you'll be able to kind of see it in the different ones so if I right now I selected that window you can see the basically highlighted this if I select um, let's say that window if I want to do this window you guys can see basically I'm selecting these items right there and is uh, just to the front just selecting so anything that you work on if you have like five or six views open any item that you work on and select is going to be selected in all the windows any changes that you make in any of the window it's going to be reflected in all the other windows that you had open basically it's give you a better understanding of what you're doing and how the model is going to look like in a different view so if you make a change in floor plan you can see it in the elevation and the 3d so anything that you basically want to work on that's going to give you a really really good indication of how all of these items work if you select one area how the other ones is going to look like so this is the items that we want to look and then the next item that we have over here is a user interface so this one is basically give you you know if your uh, project browser is gone this is a location that you go and bring it back view you have properties you know all the work set designs and everything goes at the bottom of this and also the keyboard shortcut if somebody wants to work with the shortcut this is the area that you can see what the shortcut are and then if you want to assign something modify anything this is a location that you go and the last one that I can see over here and I want to share with you is a canvas theme so this is make these uh, a little bit so let me close this one make uh, the whole interface darker or lighter so if somebody wants to work in a, like a dark 
or light this is a area that you can go I, I like the darker background so I just leave it over there but some people wants to work in a um, more lighter background you can gonna go over here so uh, these are basically all the tools that you have that you'll be able to see but the most important part be aware um, that uh, you can use this the switch window go from one window to another if there's like a bunch of tabs open you can go to the tab views you can do a tile so you can have two or three different views when you make changes you'll be able to see in all of them what is go uh, going on in other views uh, and then the close and active it's on when you have the tab views mode not the tile mode it's going to take away everything but the current view and then all of these view specific controls are for that view that you're working on and any changes that you make in one view you'll be able to see it it gets updated in Revit and you'll be able to see it in other views hope that you guys like today's video if you liked it please make sure to subscribe and leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching